In this video, I'm going to be going over the keys to Medvedev's insane backhand. I'm going to do that by comparing his backhand to my backhand and highlighting some differences. So first, I'm just going to play it through and see, so you can see the sync up. And then from there, I'm going to go ahead and go through a few of the differences that make his backhand so much more effective than mine, even at a 5-0 level. So you probably already saw some differences there, but so I want to go over three primary ones. So the first one is right here. As we watch his backswing, I'll just play it again. You're going to notice that his backswing stays very low. It never, even at the highest point, which is right about there, if he was standing straight up, it would still be below his shoulder. While here on my side, my backhand is, or my racket is substantially above my head, which is going to make it take a lot longer, which is just extending my backswing too much. And the nice thing about having a very short, concise backswing is that it enables you to have, be able to hit shots that are hit close to you right off the, right off the ground. And if you have a big backswing and it bounces close to your body, now you're going to be jammed and those balls are going to be getting very close to you. But if you have a shorter backswing, you're able to take shots early and on the rise. Now Medvedev in general, he moves back, but on his backhand, he has more of the ability if he wants to, to be able to take those shots on the rise. While on his forehand, he really doesn't have that ability as much. The second difference I wanted to notice is right here when he is in the preparation. Let's play it again. Watch this shoulder. So right there, if you notice, Medvedev's shoulder goes substantially more down and twists more in than mine. This is going to give him also a lot more power because the more you twist in, the more you can rotate out. That rotation is really for the serve, for the backhand, for the forehand. For all the different types of shot, that is really what's going to give you so much more power. So this is something I'm continuing to need to work on is getting more rotation into my backhand, more shoulder you know, twist in, turning in and then releasing that by really rotating out towards my opponent. And Medvedev does a great job of this. And then the final thing I want to point out is watch his eyes as he watches the ball versus mine. So if you notice, I immediately look up. So right here, I immediately track the ball. Medvedev keeps his eyes down on the ball and only looks up later. This is something we see many pros do. Federer does a great job of this. On his serve uh, and on his forehand, just in general, I mean, Federer does a great job with this. Many of the pros do a phenomenal job of keeping their eyes down on the contact point for a longer period of time, even after the ball has left the racket. And the reason behind this is it enables you to get the most clean contact possible. Well, if you're looking up at the same time that you're hitting it, you're not going to be able to ensure that clean contact every time because sometimes you might look up a little bit too soon, and then you're more likely to shank some of those balls. So hopefully this was helpful. So the three key differences that I see between Medvedev and myself is number one, he keeps his backswing very low. So if your backswing is very high, maybe I've definitely seen some that even go higher and mine used to, um, I would recommend shortening that. Number two is that rotation, that twist in. He really does a great job of really twisting in. Um, so that way you can really see his back. His, your, the opponent can really see his back. And then he, as he twists out, that's what gives him so much power. And then third, he keeps his eye on the contact point really well. So hopefully this, hopefully this was helpful. If you're not already, subscribe to Point Play Tennis so you can see more comparisons between myself and the pros. And hopefully this will help you continue to improve your game.